Uh, we've been doing training from fire team squad level tactics, kind of get back in the basics of offensive uh, tactics for the Marine Rifle Squad, building up the platoon level. Uh, as a part of that training, we incorporated non lethal weapons training to give ourselves one uh, additional options for escalation of force, but also to be able to respond in the case of, say, an embassy emergency or uh, a neo evacuation. Some of the different things we do is uh, OC, stands for oleo resin caps come. Essentially, it's just a, a pepper spray. Um, some of the things we do with that is we do five, uh, we spray the individuals and we have them do five fight through stations uh, consisting of mocks, which are mechanical advantage control holds, um, just to gain control of an individual. Um, we do taser training, which consists of just taser qualifications and taser exposures. Uh, right formation training. Six, six, seven, eight. The non-lethal weapons training for here in Eastern Europe is trying to build um, capabilities, one, to integrate with the partner nations over here. So in the case of an emergency, should we be called on to assist or help, we have the ability to come in with non-lethal weapons capabilities. I just want people to know because <clears throat> it gives them an option other than lethal capabilities. Um, so in a real world scenario, they have the non-lethal assets at their hands that they've been trained in and they know how to properly utilize um, and gives, them, and gives the, them and the commander another asset as opposed to using lethal force all the time. Protect each other, protect each other, go behind the shields, behind the shields.